You know, some of my trolls don't get nearly enough attention on my troll doll channel. And this is one of them. He's very rare in that you can move, his arms and legs move. Can be positioned just about any, any way. And I don't know, I can't think of any other troll except that one. That's not, I don't know if it's really strictly a troll, but we'll call it a troll. But you know, this type of troll, which is what you normally see, um, nothing moves. No, these ones, no. See, this type, one arm will move. See, you can move the arm up and down a little bit. Um, maybe the head will move a little. You need two hands to do it. But it's rare to find uh, an articulated troll like that. He's very, very cute. Normally he just sits on a shelf over there. But uh, you can do all kinds of things with him. Standing up. I knitted that outfit for him. It's very cute. I knitted it a long time ago. Pants. I knitted pants for him. They're starting to fall down. But uh, yeah, he's cute. He's a cutie. And his arms move and his head moves. And he's very charming. But I've never seen another troll like that uh, anywhere. Um, he was listed in a catalog of damn trolls. But just, it's just one, um, a series of one, which is sort of, sort of interesting. So he's got pants with a drawstring. If you want to make pants for a troll, they're never going to fit. Because trolls, even this guy, he's a little bit thinner through the metal. They don't have a waist. So if you want to do anything like this, make a drawstring. Um, but he's, he's a cutie. You know, his name is Archer. He's one of the few that has actually has a name. I'm going to try to do his, uh, do his legs again. You have to really bend them way up so he'll sit. There he is. He can sit up. His arms can go up and down. He can wave at you. He can turn his head. I'm trying to do it one-handed, of course. I wonder if he could do his splits. I'm going to just try that. Just a minute. I'm going to see if he can do a splits. Well, sort of. Now that looks really painful. I don't think I'd keep him in that position. See, my athletic troll over here, she can do splits. I don't know about him. I, I won't keep you in that position, Archer. I can see how painful it is. So we're just going to stand him up. Like that. Whoop. Yeah, he's sort of propped up in a way. But uh, he is one cute troll, and he's, I don't know, you would, it, it would be hard to find another one like it. I haven't seen one of these anywhere else, on eBay or anywhere else. And I wish I remembered the name of that store. Uh, it had an oddball name, and I didn't keep it, didn't keep a link to it. But anyway, I have him, and I'm very glad I have him, because he's, he has a versatility that the others don't have. You can even turn his head like, whoa, now that is a bit creepy. Oh, I won't turn it all the way around. Oh, maybe I will. Just a minute. That is creepy. Oh, I can't leave it like that. That's better. Now he looks more like a regular troll. But you notice, too, his hands and feet are much more... You know, a little more delicate than usual troll hands and feet, which are like that. Why they designed them that way originally, I don't know. These were the originals. Very pretty. Those are the type I used to collect. And then these guys, I don't know, kind of reached a maximum with these big guys, and their hands are just enormous. These are really cute, though. Yeah, they're huge, which makes it hard to dress and undress them. Their sleeves have to be huge. Oh well, they're all so pretty. I love them all so much. Yeah. 